Hey guys, Big Buds are here, and today I'm doing a video on the differences, or some of the differences, that I know of between Dark Souls 3 and Dark Souls 2. Because I've been playing a shitload of Dark Souls 2 recently, and I'm very hype for Dark Souls 3. And first off, I want to give a big shout out to Fighting Cowboy, or Cowboy as he references himself. He's done a heap of Dark Souls 2 videos and everything, and yeah, you should go check him out, because I'm using his gameplay footage of the Dark Souls 3 uh, beta. And also a shout out to Vartividia for his, he, if you want to know more about the lore of all the From Software games, go check out his content as well, because I've looked up both of these guys' videos and they're both great uh, content creators, and yeah, check them out. So the first big thing that you can see is that there's a new bar indicator in the top left, instead of your stamina, which is the green, your red, which is your health, and now I'm going to say that it's your mana. I'm not too sure if it's called mana, but yeah, that's what it represents. Instead of having charges on all your sorceries, now you just drain that mana bar. So compared to Dark Souls 2, which I'm showing right now, you can see the charges above the sorceries on the left hand side. So I don't know how this is going to play out or how a sorcery build will work if you're going to be more reliant on using another weapon or would you be able to clear a whole new zone using just your spells and your mana. Instead of this old way, you've had a number of casts and then you can use items to get more casts of that spell. So it's going to be interesting to try this new mechanic. And if you're thinking what's the mana use for uh, non-sorcerers, and you have, I think it's called weapon arts or sword arts, I'm not too sure, I'll have to relook that up. But that drains mana for using weapons, as you can see that he does like a spear charge and that's draining his mana bar in the top left. So it works for spellcasters and just regular dudes. And to recharge that mana, you rest at bonfires or use the new Ash Estus Flask, which is the same as your normal Estus, but instead it recharges your mana instead of your health. So I really want to see how this plays out in the game, they would have done a heap of testing, but yeah. On to the next part, which is a really big change, is the movement of the game. Now, seeing that they released Bloodborne, I think they have taken a lot from Bloodborne and added that into this game, especially with the movement of your character and everyone around you. So in Dark Souls 2, it looks slow and... I don't know, it's a, it's a big difference compared comparing the two to one another. As you can see, the rolling... It, it looks fast to me, but then when you cut to Dark Souls 3, you can see that the rolling and everything is much quicker, everything moves a lot quicker like Bloodborne does. And if you're like me, you miss out on playing Bloodborne because you don't own a PS4, and that sucks, so I'm glad they made it like, kinda like Bloodborne, because it's filling that gap and seeing that's gonna be a new, different game altogether. So, yeah, you can see the difference with him rolling and everything, even with a low equipment load on Dark Souls 2, you can't roll that quickly. You can roll that far, but not as quick as you can in Dark Souls 3. Now, instead of human effigies, you have now the Ember. We're not too sure if human effigies are in the game, but if you look in the bottom left, the picture of the Ember looks nearly identical to a human effigy. Using an ember increases your health and I'm pretty sure it lets you summon in other people and be able to invade other people. So it's got the same mechanics as a human effigy. Now next is the Estus Flask. Just a small change they've made here is when you drink it in Dark Souls 2, the visual, it doesn't change until the Estus Flask is fully empty. Now in Dark Souls 3, they've changed it so when you drink out of it, it will slowly go down as a visual aid to see how much Estus you actually have left. So when it's on one, like now, you can see that it's nearly empty and you've only got one left. So it's a good visual aid to the player instead of looking at the number. Now, the last thing I want to touch on is torches. Now in Dark Souls 2, they changed it from Dark Souls 1 and you have a timer on your torch and having to light it at a bonfire or use a flame butterfly. But now in Dark Souls 3, they've made it like Bloodborne again, using it like a weapon, and just being able to equip it at any point in time and be able to grant yourself some light. 
So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy and I will be hopefully bringing you more Dark Souls 3 content in the future because I am very excited for this game. And don't forget out to check out the other channels that I mentioned before and thank you to Cowboy once again for me using his footage. And yeah, the links will be in the description below and hope you enjoy the video. Big Monster!